Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about complementary and supplementary angles. Last time, we have uploaded a video about the classification of angles based on its measurement. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So what is meant by complementary angles? Two angles are called complementary angles if the sum of their degree measurements is equal to 90 degrees or 90. So in this illustration, it shows that two, two angles are complementary. Later on, I explain ko sa inyo. First, we have the bigger or the biggest angle, which is this angle, angle AOC, that is equivalent to 90 degrees. Ngayon, sa loob niya, we have two smaller angles, ito, saka ito. So, the name of those angles are angle A, O, B, and we also have angle B, O, C. And given this illustration, we can see that when you add the measurement of angle AOB plus the measurement of angle BOC, it will give you the sum of 90 degrees. So definitely, th that or those angles formed complementary angles or called complementary angles. And they are not just complementary angles, they are also called adjacent angles kasi magkatabi sila or nag-share sila sa isang ray. So let's move on with more examples para mas maging familiar tayo on how to classify whether the two angles are complementary or not. So we have here the measurement of angle AO XOP that is equal to 70 while the measurement of angle QRS is equal to 20 degrees. Now as you can see when we add them, angle XOP plus the measurement of angle QRS, it will give you 70 degrees plus 20 degrees that is equivalent to 90 degrees. Definitely, these two angles are complementary angles. So let's move on with item number two. As you can see, um, these angles are adjacent angles. So we need to prove whether the angles formed or can form complementary angles. So as you can see, um, when you add X, sorry, ATB or angle ADB plus angle BDC, it will give you 10 degrees plus 80 degrees that is equivalent to 90 degrees. Therefore, these two angles can form complementary angles. So let's move on with item number three. For item number three, we didn't have the illustration for the angles, but we have the measurement. When you add the measurement of angle one plus the measurement of angle two, it will give you 45 degrees plus 45 degrees that is equivalent to 90 degrees. So definitely angle one and number angle one and angle two are complementary angles. So in the next part of our video, I will show you the next type of angles that we have for this tutorial, which is the supplementary angles. Now we have here supplementary angles. Kanina, we discussed natin yung complementary angles. Those are angles or two angles with the sum of their measurements, which is equal to 90 degrees. This time, if you have angles that are supplementary, it's the definition. Nila. The angles are called supplementary angles if the sum of their degree measurements is equal to 180 degrees. So as you can see, we have here this illustration, and I want you to focus on this straight angle. We have angle... MPO 
since siya ay isang straight angle that is equivalent to 180 degrees. And kung mapansin nyo, may dalawang angles na bumuo kay angle MPO. And those are angle N, PM, and angle N, PO. Since yung MPO natin is equal to 180, siya isang straight angle, kapag inad natin yung angle N, PM, at angle NPO, it will give you the sum of 180 degrees. Since ang sum nila is equal to 180 degrees, angle NPM and angle NPO are de definitely example of supplementary angles. So let's have an example or examples for supplementary angles. We have here this angle and this angle. So we don't have the name of those angles, but we have the measurements. When you add 60 degrees plus 120 degrees, it will give you the sum of 180 degrees. So definitely, example number one is an example of supplementary angles. Now let's move on with item number two. Obviously, these angles are supplementary angles because it forms a straight angle. Pero check pa rin natin given those measurements. If one angle measures 150 degrees and the other is 30 degrees, therefore, there is a supplementary degree, supplementary angles if their sum is 180 degrees. So I hope na sa ating tutorial video, you already know how to classify whether a pair of angle is supplementary or complementary angles. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!